Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it is going to be as we start this month that we start building towards a powerful full moon. This full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money. It has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. It is also related to healthy self-esteem and self-worth. This is gonna be a time when financial matters feel like they come into focus for many Virgos out there. Now I know right now for the collective, there certainly is for many a sense of some insecurity as to spending, as to earning. But it does look like at least at this time, it may be that there's something you were really hoping to do, something you really wanted to do, something you had your heart set on that feels as if it's going to be that much more challenging at this time with this full moon speaking with jupiter and pluto which will be connecting with precision in the days leading up to this full moon it does look like it isn't just about the money and having the money that you need although do keep in mind that when we have such strong financial energy in a chart it means that the money you need is there but it also suggests that your own desires for what you were hoping for, what you would like to do with financial resources. Well, that seems to be part of what you wish were flowing a little bit more easier at this time. Now, regardless of how this energy comes together for you, as I said, the money you need is gonna be there. This is a chance for you to look at, to work on issues of self-worth and self-esteem and to allow yourself to root yourself in healthy self-love as you make financial decisions going forward from here. With a full moon, it does tend to bring matters into awareness, but also culmination. So if it is that you've been waiting for a particular paycheck to come through for a while, well, this is a very encouraging energy to have, even with its challenging aspects. This does suggest that you find a way to reach fruition on a financial matter. As we navigate later into the month, it is going to be right around the 23rd that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in fellow Earth sign Taurus. Now that alone works to your advantage. It means that this is energy you can tap into that much easier. But it is going to be this new moon that is happening hand in hand with Uranus and also speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. Saturn right now recently moved into a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, how well it is that you are living in your workplace as well. And it is this new moon that is happening in a part of the sky that's very expansive. It has to do with understanding your place in the world, philosophically and literally as well. Normally, new moons in this part of the sky can bring with them opportunities to travel. But of course, collectively, we are limited in that at this time. So I see this energy playing out a couple of different ways. One thing to keep in mind is Uranus and Saturn and their conversation of tension is being activated by this new moon. Now this particular conversation will begin to perfect in 2021 and in fact is gonna be a defining characteristic of that time, the following year from now. However, it is now that we get glimpses into what could be coming up ahead for you once we get into 2021, where it relates to your spiritual values, your philosophical values and understanding, your sense of where you belong in the world and how that fits in with your daily life and what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. It is gonna be now that you start to glimpse not only some of the larger lessons, but they come very much into focus for you. So whether it is that you are on a personal journey at this time where you feel as if your own beliefs and your philosophies are going through some transformation, some change, some new beginning, or whether it is that you're understanding where you are supposed to be, literally and figuratively, differently than you did before. For some, this may be more related to a matter having to do with higher education, a legal matter, even a political matter at this time with an awakening uh, of a political point of view. But regardless, understand that new moons do represent new chapters and new beginnings. And 
where it is that Uranus is involved in this way, well, things could change very quickly, leaping you into the future and encouraging you ultimately to make changes that feel truly authentic, worthy of whom it is that you are becoming and whom it is that you are now. Where it comes to matters of love, I do love the fact that in the first part of the month, we have Mercury in your opposite sign. And it is gonna be Mercury that reaches out in harmony to other power players like Jupiter and Pluto, especially in the days leading up to that full moon. That tells me that there is support, there is someone there to talk to, there is understanding, there's new ways to understand what it is that you are really wanting in your heart of hearts. And there's a real sense of mind level connection with another person. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, the first part of the month can help you to connect with somebody, particularly online, which is pretty much the way that people are connecting right about now. But Mercury in your opposite sign is going to help you that much more to make mind level connections, to make online connections with others in a way that helps you to feel understood on a heart level. And that energy is going to be especially dominant in the first week of this month. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that this can be a powerful time as well. This is where you are talking to each other more and understanding each other more on a mind level. And that is a way to slowly but surely continue to nurture a growing bond between the two of you. And for those of you in an established bond, this can be a powerful time as well, where you're just feeling the strength of the companionship that the two of you share, the strength of the love that the two of you share that isn't just about the mundane, but goes beyond that, goes to a place of genuine friendship at this time that seems to be especially meaningful to you. Keep in mind though, even with all of this, Venus retrograde season is starting early this month. Right around the 10th is when Venus will go into shadow. It will be next month that Venus goes retrograde. So there are really big love related lessons coming up for all of us. So be on the lookout for the Venus retrograde special horoscope, which will be on YouTube uh, in the first part of this month as well. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. <laughs> it's a very eventful month and we've got a whole variety of energy. We've got surprise energies there for you, certainly, where it may feel as if very quickly you need to pay attention to financial matters. But at the same time, there's a real sense of people being on your side to help you along. It may feel this month as if you are very quickly being asked to understand some larger perspective, some more worldly perspective, and yet at the same time, you are being asked to consider where it is that you desire to go in a higher sense, what it is that really is worth doing, where it comes to matters of something like life purpose and ensuring that your heart is in the journey ahead. It is ultimately this month that is setting the stage for really big lessons to be revealed in the weeks and months ahead. But at least for now, you can know that whatever comes up, you'll find a way to tap into it to your advantage. That is the blessing of being an earth sign at this time. And as it is that you tap into it to your advantage, you'll find new skills and new strengths and a new understanding of just how well provided for you are by not only a wise and loving universe, but a generous universe as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.